The overview tab is your main entrance point for looking at your log. The tab shows you an overall status of your application by listing a number of interesting metrics. In the top you'll find a, a number of different counters showing you the total number of errors happening, the number of critical errors, the unique errors, and how many different users and browsers that were affected. You can dig into the details about the affected browsers in this affected browsers um, control here, so, you, so we can see from, from this example that, that only Chrome browsers are affected right now. Same story for the affected users. Here you can actually see uh, your users of your site uh, who were affected by, by errors. Um, and in this case, I have this user uh, experiencing five errors. So all of these controls, you can actually click them. So if you click the critical here, you'll only see the critical errors in the search view. Same uh, goes for the affected browsers. So I can show only errors uh, related to the Chrome browser. A cool thing here is that I can actually click the user here and get some additional information about him. So I can contact users experiencing errors on my site directly from, from elma.io. I can see some additional information about the user, like some tags and, and uh, links to his social profiles and so on. Um, and all this um, shows data from the last hour because I selected that in the drop down here, but I can select other time spans as well. So below here, we have a split of all the messages logs and we can see how many errors we actually have. We can see over time during the last hour, hour when our errors were actually logged. In the bottom, we have these three lists. We have a list of recent errors happening, uh, the most frequent errors happening, and um, finally, the URLs causing most problems. So like uh, the metrics on top here, I can click these. And when clicking this error, I actually get this overlay where I can, where I can see uh, information about this concrete error. So I can see stuff about uh, which error it was, the stack trace, the cookies, server var variables, and so on. Um, the final th thing is that I can actually set this to auto refresh by clicking this uh, small icon up here. So this will refresh the, the view every five seconds. Uh, so I can put this on a, an, on a big screen somewhere and I, call, I can also full screen this if I wanted. Um, and we can keep an eye on our, our logs this, uh, this way.